Hello, hi everyone. This is Raju Komakla. In this video, I am going to explain you finding square roots. Before going to explain, if number ends with 1, either it may be 1 square or 9 square. You can observe here 1 square that is 1 and 9 square 81. But here, units place is only 1. If number ends with 4, either it may be 2 square or 8 square. The reason? 2 square here it is 4 and 8 square 64 but units place is 4 only. If number ends with 9 either it may be 3 square or 7 square. The reason 3 square is 9, 7 square 49 but units place is 9 only. And uh, 6 if number ends with 6 it may be either 4 square or 6 square. What is 4 square? 16. What is 6 square? 36 but units place is 6 here and here okay now 5 square is equal to 25 that means whenever the square number ends with 5 here it compulsory come 5 only now i will explain you one example you observe 4 double to 5 4 double to 5 here the number ends with 5 that means what will come here 5 square that may be 25 now leave this 25 two numbers leave now what is here the number 42 consider this 42 so you have to search the nearest number to the 42 so where is the nearest number to the 42 36 so why we are taking the 36 you always take the smaller number which square is near to 42 what is the smaller number here it is 36 this 36 is the square of 6 so i am taking here 6 this is the 65 is the square root of 4 double to 5. I will explain you one more example. 9, 0, 2, 5. 9, 0, 2, 5. So when the number ends with 5, you have to take 5 in the units place and leave the two digits. 9, 0, the number 9, 0. You have to take a smaller number which square is near to 90. Which square is near to 90 here? 9 square is 81 near 90. So I am taking here 9. So 95 is the square root of 9025. Okay. Now square root of 441. Observe here the number ends with 1. So whenever number ends with 1, what may be here? Either 1 square or 9 square. Now I am writing here either it may be 1 square or 9 square. Now leave the 2 digits. Consider that 4. From this number, you have to take a smaller number which square is near to 4. The smaller number which square is near to 4. So here near to 4 number is there. Okay. The smaller number it is 4. The 2 square it is 4. For that reason I am taking here 2. 2. So it may be either 21 square or 29 square. But how do you find the exact number? For that reason, we have to do 2 into the next number that is 2 plus 1 multiply 2 into next number 2 2 into 3 the product of 2 into 3 is 6 now this 6 you have to compare with the number in square the number in the square is 4 and the product you got that is 6 so now you have to compare this one the 4 is less than 6 the number in the square is 4 is the small number so for that reason you have to take the smaller one that is 21 the 21 is the square root of double four one this is the way to find out the square now the next number is 5476 square root of 5476 number ending with 6 so whenever the number ending with 6 what number it may be 4 square or 6 square right here either it may be 4 square or 6 square now leave two digits consider 54 so what number is smaller number which is near to the 54 near to the 54 here which is the 49 okay that is 7 square i am writing here 7 and 7 so which is the perfect square here either 74 or 76 so now i am writing 7 into the next number that is 8 7 into 8 56 now compare this 56 with the number in square now 54 and 56 we are comparing 
54 is less than the 56 so we need to take the smaller number which is smaller number in these two 74 or 76 74 this is the 74 is the square root of 5476 now 1521 the square root of 1521 number ending with 1 so whenever number ending with 1 either it may be 1 square or 9 square I am writing 1 square or 9 square okay leave 2 digits now consider 15 so take a smaller number which square is near to 15 take a smaller number which square is near to 15 either it may be 9 it is not a 16 because it should not exceed the number in this okay so that is the reason why what is the smaller number near to the 15 that is 9 and this 9 is square of 3 square now i am taking 3 here and here so 31 39 it may be either it may be 31 or 39 to find out the exact number we have to write 3 into the next number it is 4 3 into 4 that is 12 okay so now consider this product compare with 15 15 and 12 so which is the 15 is greater number than the 12 so whenever the number in the square is greater number then you have to take the greater number in this one 39 is the greater number so for that reason 39 is the square root of 1521 now the number square root of double one double four nine here number is ending with 9 whenever the number is ending with 9 you know that either it may be 3 square or 7 square I am writing 3 and 7 just leave the two digits now consider 114 in this one you have to take the smaller number which square is near to 114 so which square is near to 114 you can find here either it may be 10 square or 11 square 11 square is exceeding the 114 for that reason I am taking the 10 square only so now I am taking here 10 and 10 it may be 103 or 107 but how do you find 10 into the next number 11 that is 110 now this product number 110 you have to compare with the number in square 114 and 110 compare these two which is less and which is greater 114 is greater than the 110 so this is the reason why you have to take the greater number these two that is 107 107 is the square root of double one double four nine square root of 1296 1296 so what is the number ending here the six number ending with six whenever number ending with six that may be either four square or six square that is four and six leave these two digits now here the number it is how much 12 so take a smaller number which is near to the 12 so here 14916 like this it is there so which is the nearest one there to the 12 9 3 square is 9 now I am taking here 3 and 3 to find the exact number I am multiplying 3 to the next number that is 4 and product of this 3 and 4 it is 12 now we should compare this 12 to the number in the square number in the square is 12 and the product is 12 how the whenever number and uh, the product number is equal we have to always take the greater number so this is the note you have to consider whenever the product number and the number in the root is equal you have to always take the greater number only so which is the greater number in this one 36 okay when product and uh, number in the square is equal you have to consider only the greater number in these two you have to consider the greater number here the 36 is the greater number so 36 is the square root of 1296 I will explain you here observe note if this number in the square root is greater or equal to the product number you always take the big number only okay and uh, if the number in the square is less than the product number then you have to take the smaller number okay this is the you have to remember mainly now I will explain you one more number which may be product number and root number is equal 676 six. observe here whenever number ends with 6 you can write here 4 square or 6 square 4 or 6 leave the two digit numbers and 6 find out the nearest number to the 6 so where is the nearest number to the 6 that is 4 only 
so i am writing here 2 2 square is near to the 6 24 and 26 now i am multiplying 2 with the next number 3 2 into 3 that is 6 you should compare 6 with the number in the square so what is there 6 and 6 equal now whenever the product number and number in the square is equal you have to always take the greater number which is the greater number in these two 24 or 26 26 is the greater number so this is the answer of the root of 676 for more interesting videos and shortcuts please subscribe my channel click on bell icon like and share to your friends thank you